Hi, my name is Zena and I will explain to you how you can tell if a molecule is chiral. This information will be particularly helpful when you get to chapter 4. Hope you enjoy! The first way by which I can test the chirality of my molecule is the mirror test. Let's say I take my right hand and I reflect it through a mirror. I will get my left hand which is its mirror image. Now if I try to overlap my left hand with my right hand, I will notice that these two are not superimposable. My fingers do not align. This means that my right hand is chiral. Next on the list is optical activity. If I obtain a pure sample of my right hand and I expose it to plain polarized light, I will notice that my right hand will rotate this plane polarized light in a specific direction by a specific angle that's unique to my right hand. This will tell me that my right hand is chiral because this unidirectional light is being rotated. Let's say you don't have access to a mirror or apparatus for measuring optical activity. What do you do? Well, if your molecule has only one chiral center, then you can be sure that it's chiral. If there are more than one chiral centers, you have to test for symmetry. Any kind of symmetry present in the molecule, whether a center of symmetry or a plane of symmetry, indicates that your molecule is achiral. The two planes that I drew on my right hand are not planes of symmetry because they don't bisect my right hand into mirror image halves. What about a center of symmetry? Well, this dot is not a center of symmetry. Because as you can see, if I'm extending it in equal and opposite directions, I'm not encountering the same thing. The absence of any kind of symmetry tells me that my hand is chiral.